Thanks for joining us here in Barcelona for MWC 2022, where I am delighted to be joined by Mark Wuhan. He is the Chief Network Officer at Dish Wireless and Chris Hill, Vice President, Professional Services at VMware. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Mark, let's start with you. I hear that Dish Wireless is breaking new ground and really reinventing all the rules in networking. So tell us a bit more about the culture of your company. Oh, it's an entrepreneur culture, right? Uh, Charlie uh, is, uh, is bringing in his own uh, inspiration and willingness to uh, impact and, and try things on the long term. So we have the capability to do things, to fail, to, uh, to learn. I mean, that's, uh, it's entrepreneur. We like to call us, uh, ourselves a startup, you know, large startup. So Chris, how are the teams at VMware and Dish Wireless working together? Sure, I think, I think VMware is coming at the, at the telco business from a unique point and a, and a big experience in cloud. So uh, a lot of the things we're seeing in Dish and the help we need to give them have come from our experience in enterprise data centers and cloud. So specifically with Dish, the first thing we're really doing is focusing on the infrastructure. So we have a, we have a very highly skilled practice of architects, uh, RAN architects helping with ORAN, helping set that up, working closely with DISH engineers to, uh, to establish a, a baseline at the, edge, at, at the edge of the radio network. The really new thing, I think, for, for telcos and for DISH, DISH are a greenfield, so maybe a little bit different experience, but, but the new thing is all, is all about continuous integration, continuous development, CI, CD pipeline, and building uh, uh, cloud native network functions uh, to deploy on these edge servers. So we're helping a lot, first of all, setting up the, uh, uh, setting up the, the infrastructure, the, the pipeline to deliver those apps onto the network, but also helping DISH develop the skills to, uh, to manage that themselves. I think um, I think it's it's new. It's new for a telco, and I think uh, we, we've learned a lot together. And now I think we have a good methodology to uh, to, to to implement that. So it's good. Mark, the skill set from a team to support Oran Network and cloud native is unique. So tell us a bit more about the key considerations and principles uh, across people, tools, and automation. Yeah. So what is a bit unique in the way we approach the market is that we rely a lot on our partners. So we have a, an extraordinary uh, set of partners that are investing their best skills uh, to help us. Our project is uh, very inspiring for engineers. So when we work with AWS, uh, with uh, ServiceNow, with all our people, they have a tendency to bring their best cloud engineers. And we learn from that. So we are in this uh, knowledge transfer and discovery mode where we're learning a lot. Um, and we need people that uh, understand data, cloud, uh, that understands software, uh, much less telco. Telco is kind of uh, the baseline for us, basics. But yeah, it's all about cloud and data. Mark, with so many partners, how do you ensure alignment across all vendors? Uh, yeah, we do and we don't, you know, and it's an ecosystem. So we make mistakes. When it's not aligned, we fail and we move on. Uh, you know, we, we're not spending a huge amount of time planning and debating, we just do it. Uh, because in, in the, we can do everything live in the network, we can test, we can uh, uh, consume new software. So, you know, we want people to understand the story. And once the, the, the developers understand the, the story, which is DevOps, it's likely to be good, um, you know, very close to, to what is needed. So we just move, move. And one of the metrics I use with our software vendors is, I want many faults, I want many failures, because it means you're going fast. Whereas in the telco, it is always, I want no faults, right? Because I don't want to disrupt. And for us, it's because we have a very resilient network, uh, which is cloud native. Um, then let's consume as fast as we can. Let's have faults and correct them as fast as we can. Finally, Chris, how are you working with DISH to ensure that zero trust security is a core principle of the architecture? Yeah, you know, security in a in a very distributed kind of cloud environment is a is is something that you really have to pay attention to, and it's not just about product security products. It's really about a mix of people, of resources, of software, of hardware, and making sure you've paid attention to all of those different levels. And and I think rather like how we're working with Dish, you know, we have very good experience. 
from our enterprise business going back many years of securing cloud infrastructure, both in remote data centers and centrally, and we're leveraging a lot of that, uh, a lot of that experience with DISH in, in making sure that we, we deploy a secure environment. It's very much in our comfort zone as a company to be doing that. We understand the dangers uh, of, or the risks of, of, of that kind of infrastructure. Uh, and we have products that we can bring from, from different parts of our business to help secure that. The second thing you really need to pay attention to is going back to this, this cloud native network function mix that you're going to deploy right on the edge. So you have many vendors, you have many different uh, opportunities for security vulnerability. And, and again, it's making sure you have the right processes around that Kubernetes pipeline to make sure you're paying attention to security before you put things out in a vulnerable, potentially vulnerable position. Chris, Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.